Here comes trouble straight from the island of Samoa. The following contest is a fatal four-way steel cage match. And is for the WWE Championship. Introducing the challenger from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 350 pounds, the Samoan bulldozer, Umaga! A multiple time Intercontinental Champion here in WWE, a truly terrifying blend of size, speed, and aggression. And think about all the epic brawls we've seen Umaga involved in against the likes of both John Cena and Bobby Lashley. Here comes the 16-time world champion. Uh, not just the 16-time world champion, a Hollywood phenomenon, and a man who embodies the meaning of superstar. And introducing the challenger from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! John Cena is a man who's always practiced what he preached. He embodies never give up and hustle, loyalty, respect. Now even his detractors have to admit Cena's dedication. He never gives anything less than his very best. From where I'm sitting, he is the greatest WWE superstar in history. Cena is a superstar in every sense of the word. In fact, he was referred to by Mr. McMahon as the Babe Ruth of WWE. Yeah, Cena is a guy who achieved success beyond anybody's wildest imagination. There is a big change in the atmosphere. And introducing the challenger, representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds, Big E. Big E doesn't care how bad you think you are. He'll take on anyone. Bringing his smash mouth style to the ring, Big E will crush your own dreams before your very eyes. Wrestling greatness runs through this man's veins. And introducing the champion from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 255 pounds, the WWE Champion, Randy Orton. You know, I see a lot of potential in this kid, but all he does is talk about his dad. It's called respecting your elders, Saxton. It's good to see Orton looking up to the legends of WWE. You can see it in everyone's eyes. They all want this championship. We're ready for Unleashed Fury in the steel cage match, Corey. What strategy can a competitor provide to increase their chances of winning? Well, if the superstar's not known for their agility, they might be best served looking to escape through the cage door because it could take a little while to get up the ropes. Great point. 
the superstars who rely on speed hit a flurry of offense, including the best that your arsenal has to offer, and try to get at as well. You have to find any advantage over your opponent and maximize it to have even a shot at victory. And victory is achieved when you escape and both feet hit the floor or via pinfall submission. Great. Amazing. Exhibiting the quickness of a superstar half their size. Corey, what's the key to coming out on top in a volatile, fatal four-way match like this one? You have to be opportunistic. Being in the right place at the right time is all that matters. That and avoiding being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Tough position to be caught in here. Lands face first. Mistake by Umaga. Sleeper hold cinched in deep. And breaks out of the sleeper. way up the cage. Big E on the wrong end of things there. Getting ever so close to the very peak of the steel cage. And now he's looking to advance up the cage wall. And he's finally up to the top of the cage. Oh, good God. He's just been thrown off the top of the cage. So close, yet so very, very far away. This is the moment for him. This is how winners are made. He swings that second leg over the top of the cage. It won't be long now. Making the long climb down to the winner's circle. Can he finish the job? Yeah. And a new champion is officially crowned. Here is your winner. And the new WWE Champion, the Samoan Bulldozer. He won the title.